Hey guys, it's Half. I am back again, and this is going to be my Aquarius look for the Geeks and Beauties Zodiac monthly collaboration. Uh, so we did Capricorn last month. This month we're doing Aquarius. Feels weird for me to do Aquarius in February because I'm a February baby and I'm a Pisces. So I always think of February as being Pisces month, but Pisces doesn't start till like the 20th or the 21st. So uh, yeah, it's it's just a thing in my brain. I, I, yeah. Uh, so my daughter is an Aquarius. That's the other thing. She's born in January. So I'm like, uh, but she's born right at the end of January. So she's an Aquarius. Uh, weird. It, it, it's an interesting um, sign. One of my best friends is also an Aquarius and um they do that shutting off thing a lot it drives me crazy being a pisces it drives me crazy uh yeah so aquarius's colors are blues and purples so i have done um a blue and purple eye and a blue lip as you can see and if you would like to see how I got this look, then keep on watching and don't forget to go and check out the others who will be linked down below who are also doing this collaboration. Okay, I have my eyebrows done already. I have primer on my eyes and I've set that with some face powder. If you can hear the fan in the background and you can see sweat, it's because it's really, really humid here today. Uh, very uncomfortable. <laughs> not feeling it go say okay so we're doing Aquarius Aquarius is um, purples and blue so I'm actually going to do a purple eye um, and I'm going to do a blue lip so of course as usual I'm gonna start with my eyes I am using my um, LA colors purple palette which looks like this. Um, I'm going to go into this one here. And I'm going to start with my transition area like I normally do. I'm not going for a super over the top look. Um, Aside from the fact I'm doing a purple lip, um, a blue lip, it's, you know, kind of trying to be fairly wearable. And I just flicked eyeshadow everywhere. Um, things are being a little patchy. It's probably because I'm ever so slightly damp. Which is entirely because of the weather. Um, I'm a little bit late filming this the weather has not been playing ball and either has my brain um, I'm empathetic uh, an empath and there are a lot of people that I know at the moment who are going through some really tough stuff and I feel their pain and it is it's difficult and because I have my own mental health issues, it just tends to make me not really function as well as I would like. Um, I haven't done my base makeup because I don't want it going everywhere. Because uh, I know this will probably go everywhere. And I have sweat. Okay, I'm going to go into the next shadow over, which is a bit darker. and go right into this crease area I'm just going to lay it down first and then blend again because 
that didn't look like it did anything. You love it when you do that. These shadows are kind of powdery, so they can't go everywhere. But I'm trying to use stuff that's in my collection and all right and then I'm going to go across to the next one which is pretty much the darkest color in this palette it's almost almost black Just tap that in the outer corner And then give it a blend. Um, I'm sorry if there's extra background noise. I'm still trying to work out how to get the best sound from my microphone. Um, sometimes it can seems to not pick up background noise and other times it does nothing but pick up the background noise and it's kind of frustrating <laughs> to be honest it's kind of frustrating okay Now I know I said I was going to do a purple look but it's not entirely purple because I am actually going to put in on the mobile lid I'm actually going to put in a blue color because I love this shadow and it looks really really awesome so it's this one here I believe it is called sky high I had I went searching last night because I knew I was going to use it um, it's from um, a brand called makeup studio or the makeup studio and it I got it years ago when I went to a beauty convention but it is this absolutely gorgeous very pigmented blue shadow it's like an icy blue and I love it um, yeah so I, was, I went on to their Australian distributor site to try and because I never wrote down what the shades were when I bought them and they're not on them um, they're also not stuck into the palette which is why I've got to be careful when I tilt it you're supposed to like take the backing off and um, stick them in but I didn't do that and years later I still haven't done it so I'm not gonna start now I wonder what would happen if I wet my brush Let us find out. I have my setting spray here. I'll just uh, spit, wet the brush. These are what they call their Lumiere shadows. Oh wow. That looks awesome. And they're basically um, like almost like a baked pressed pigment they're like they're just so bright and shiny and gorgeous looking um, and you can still get them in um, you can get them in individuals I don't know if you can still buy them in this like pack thing that I have and I can tell you now they were not cheap they 
<laughs> I like 30 something dollars each shadow. Um, I did not pay that much for them. But yeah, I was looking on their website last night and they're like 30 something dollars. I'm just like, wow. But they are so gorgeous. All right, that is it for the, um, actually, no, it's not. I need to, hmm, actually, I'm not going to line my upper waterline. What I am going to do is I'm going to take, normally, I would use a black on my um, tight line, but today I'm actually going to use a bright blue. I don't know how well it will show up or if it will but my um, waterline is very pink because I'm so pale and it just shows under like the mascara so can't really notice it so just darkens up that line a little bit okay I am going to um, clean up the mess that I got on my face um, do my base makeup and then I will be back to finish the makeup look Okay, so I have done my base make, tiny bit of contouring, a little bit of blush, not very much. Um, okay, so for highlighter, which I'm going to do that now, I am going to use Unicorn Glow from Pretty for, Pretties for Your Face, which is this one right here. This is so gorgeous. Very... Um, shimmery and bright and just just lovely um my light is not as bright as it normally is i normally try to film in the first half of the day because the window that i have is faces to the um east so it gets the morning sun um and in the afternoon the sun's over the other side of the house where most of the bedrooms are well all of the bedrooms are pretty much um yeah so the light here changes in the afternoon and it's not quite as bright um but still um, i'm gonna put a bit on my kill the ball a bit on the nose a bit on the chin um it's just so pretty just so pretty here I've kind of really buffed it in for a change. I don't always, but, um, and it's sitting on one side better than the other. Um, 
think this side of my face is slightly damper than the other side. But, uh, yeah. But it is so pretty. I love it. Absolutely love it. Prettiest for Your Face is an amazing brand. Uh, it's an indie brand. So, if you want to support indie sellers, you should you should do that. Um, I'm going to use the bright blue. This is um, Rimmel Scandalize in bright blue. That's what it's called. I'm going to put that under the eye. <whistles> that was my darling husband, if you all heard that whistle. Pencil is a little stiff. And then I'm going to take the brush that um, I used to put the shadow on my eyelids and I'm just going to blend out under the eye with that. which will also put some of it under the eye, which is fine. And I poked myself in the eye. Good job. Okay. Then I am going to curl my lashes with this torture device. And then I'm going to use my The Balm Watch Your Type Mascara. If I didn't already feel like I'm melting, I would um, attempt to put on lashes, but I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not going to. The only problem with that bright blue shadow is it has transferred up onto my upper eyelid because my eyes are hooded, which, oh god, which is fine. It's just, it's a thing, and I just got mascara on my eyelid. Do not fret. I'm not fretting because I know how to get rid of it. I should probably do my bottom lashes. I oh, forgot. I did think about using a blue mascara. I'm pretty sure I have one, but I think I have enough blue going on. <laughs> Honestly. I really don't like how harsh that line is. When I cleaned up, I made that line and it's way harsher on one side than it is on the other. And... We'll just do some blending and fix that. I'm just gonna grab a Q-tip. Okay, so if you did what I did and you got mascara on your eyeshadow and you're like, oh my God, I just ruined my look. No, you didn't. Wait for it to dry and take a Q-tip, earbud, ear cleaner thing, and just gently roll it over the dried mascara, and it will lift it right off and onto your Q-tip without ruining your eyeshadow. Same thing if you get it on your under eye. If it's super duper stubborn, then put a little bit of concealer or foundation on your Q-tip, and that will take it right off your skin. So there's no need to fret if you get it on your skin or on your eyeshadow. Just wait for it to dry and then clean it up. Um, I'm just going to apply another coat of a mascara.
Okay. I'm actually absolutely loving the eye look, even if it has transferred like a mofo onto this bit. I'm just going to blend it a bit so it doesn't look quite so weird to my eye when I'm looking at it in the mirror. But it just adds an extra sparkle to the top, but I'm loving the eye. I just I think it's an awesome eye look. Okay, so lips. Um, I'm gonna kind of do probably a bit of an ombre thing. We'll see how it goes. So I have uh, Liberty from Clean Color, which is um, blue, blue. Uh, It's kind of an, um, a very sheer blue. It's not an opaque blue. Um, and then I'm going to take a little bit of Little Denim Dress from um, NYX. I literally just got all over my teeth. And because no look that I do is complete without extra sparkle, I am going to add a little bit on top of the um, iridescent blue Stella Lights holographic lip gloss from Milani which of course is not holographic in the least it's iridescent it has slight kind of pink reflex in it pinky purple reflex in it So that is it. This is my Aquarius look. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell to get notified of when I upload new content. Leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup look type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I will like your comment and I will answer any questions that you ask. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.